This weekend, you have the opportunity to enjoy classical music in the beautiful Follinger Great Hall. Yes, it's happening tomorrow night. It's Magical Delights with violinist Rachel Barton Pine, who is here with us now. Welcome. Great to be here. Well, and we're excited that you're here. You are a leading interpreter of the great classical master works. What does that mean to you? <laughs> means I get to live my life in hotel rooms. <laughs> yeah, you were saying off the air, you're in a new city or country pretty much every week. Yeah, Seattle last week, Scotland next week. So it's really oh, a treat nice. to actually be in my own home state this week. Yes, well, welcome home. Um, let's Let's talk a little bit about how you got started playing the violin. Well, I heard some girls playing violin in church when I was three, and I just loved the sound of the instrument, and that was that. And now here you are inspiring others, which is the goal tomorrow. You're going to be performing with the Champaign-Urbana Symphony. So let's talk a little bit about what you have planned. Yes, I'm playing actually America's Greatest Violin Concerto. So many violin concertos, um, at least of the, the historic variety, come from Europe. And now, of course, they come from all over the world. But the one by Samuel Barber um, for the earlier part of the 20th century is considered to be the greatest from our country. And it's really? just a lush and gorgeous piece with plenty of fireworks works at the end and it's the orchestra's 60th anniversary season so it's really an occasion for celebration yeah now uh, how do you go about um, starting to learn a piece that you've never seen before you've never played before mm -hmm. obviously I I'm assuming you read mm -hmm. music and it's not by <laughs> ear but but from starting that process to getting to the point where you're just playing without thinking about it too much how does that work for you? Yeah, well, it's the physical practice, like, you know, doing all of your, your twirls and jumps like an Olympic um, figure skater. You have to do all this stuff with your fingers, but um, it's a lot of score study as well, just learning how the music is put together, reading about the history of the piece. If the composer is alive, talking to them is really useful, but you can't, of course, text to Beethoven, so you just have to guess. If you exactly. could, that would be amazing. Yeah, right? <laughs> you mentioned the historic aspect a few times. Why is that so important? Well, it really connects us to our humanity, to just think about what people have gone through, people from different times and places. And the thing about great music is it speaks directly to the emotions. So it's n not like this music ever becomes outdated. It's just as relevant now as it ever was. Well, You're gonna we're going to play something for us now? We're speak to the viewers <laughs> now. So what are you going to give us a little sneak peek of? Yeah, this is actually a um, piece by a composer who ended his life in Chicago, Coleridge Taylor Perkinson, um, one of the great African-American composers of the 20th. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, right. we're fine. Together. Out.
my word. I will never understand how you can play two notes at once on the one <laughs> instrument. But uh, very impressive. It's Rachel Barton yes. Pine. Magical delights tomorrow at the Craner Center, 7.30 p.m. All the ticket information is on their website as well as ours. So go check it out um, right now.